Why do we do this to ourselves? Book back-to-back -back meetings, especially when they are in person, with each meeting in a different location. Even if these were all virtual meetings, when would you have time to go for a bio break, refill your coffee, grab a snack, or check your emails? By the time you get to your meeting, it's guaranteed to start five to 10 minutes late. Outlook and Google Calendar have a feature that automatically adds buffer time to your calendar events. First, I'm gonna cover how to do this in the Outlook web app and on the Outlook Mac desktop app. In Outlook for Web, click on the gear icon to open up your settings. Click on View All Outlook Settings and navigate to Events and Invitations. Check off Shortened Duration for all events. You can select between whether you'd like to end your events early or start them late. I'm going to stick with ending my events early. By default, events less than an hour will be shortened by 5 minutes. Events longer than 1 hour will be shortened by 10 minutes. You can click on the drop down for either of these options to customize the time you'd like to shorten your events by. I'm going to stick with the defaults and press save to save my changes. Now, when I create a new meeting, you'll see that my event has automatically been shortened by five minutes. When you use a drop down to select a new end time for your event, you can see that Outlook has provided additional event end times. In Outlook for Mac, you'll need to click on Outlook and navigate to Preferences. Click on Calendar. Click the Configure button to the right of Shorten Duration for All Events. Here you have the same options where you can choose to end your events early or start your events late, and the default shorten times. Click Save to save your changes. In Google Calendar, navigate to the settings by clicking the gear icon. In the General tab, scroll down to Event Settings. Check the box next to Speedy Meetings. With this box checked, Google will automatically end 30-minute meetings by 5 minutes and meetings longer than 30 minutes by 10 minutes. Currently, you aren't able to adjust these defaults. Now when you click to add a new event in Google, it'll automatically add in buffer time. You can overwrite your buffer time in Outlook or Google Calendar by manually entering in your end time or selecting the time you'd actually like to end the meeting at. Thanks for watching.